Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to talk about a question that I got from a subscriber. And before I get into that, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. Uh, I appreciate all of you that are watching my videos. I get a lot of really positive feedback. So the, the, the more subscribers I get, the more the reach will be, which will share the information with more people out there. Um, and I'll get more questions from you guys out there that will provide us more content to talk about. And today's question has to do with a technique called uh, Demiki rigging, or what I know as uh, referred to as scrubbing. Uh, but that's what the question was. How do I fish the Demiki rig? When should I fish it? And it's a relatively old concept that has gotten a lot more recognition over the last several years as the Demiki rig. Um, Really, a lot of that has to do with the fact that Demiki came out with a plastic that was made specifically for doing this, so it was called the Demiki rig. Early on, or years ago, uh, a lot of anglers in the upper Midwest and Canada were doing a, a technique called scrubbing, which is the exact same thing. So what does this entail? Basically, what you're looking for are deep water uh, fish and you're going to suspend a bait over the top of them. You could be fishing right off the bottom or you could be fishing, uh, you know, suspended fish that are 15 or 20 feet off the bottom over 50 feet of water. But it's a great technique for using your electronics and identifying where fish are holding, dropping a bait down to them. And it it's really a do nothing bait that gets fish to respond. So, Let's talk about the, the bait first. So what you really wanna do, uh, you've got a couple, of, a couple of key parts to this. The first is you want a, a good hook that's got a 90 degree line tie. And the reason for that is if you have a 90 degree line tie, your bait is going to suspend uh, horizontal in the water column. If you have something that's more like a 30 or a 60, your bait's going to want to sit like that. That's not what we're going for. Your bait really needs to be sitting horizontal in the water column, and that's where the 90 degree line tie comes in. Uh, this is a Dirty Jigs Guppy head uh, that I've helped design, and you know it was originally designed for small swim baits. There have been a lot of guys that absolutely love this bait for uh, scrubbing or the Demiki rig. Um, I know Matt Heron had a really good finish. Like that first tournament years ago on Cherokee Lake where everyone doing well was doing the Demiki rig. Uh, a lot of guys were throwing the guppy head. And that's where I got a lot of recognition as a, as a bait that's good for the Demiki rig. So you want your 90 degree line tie. You want a heavier head. This is a 3 8 ounce. Uh, you want a head that will drop to those fish quick. You don't want a bait that's going to be, you know, an 8 ounce or a 3 16 ounce that's going to take its time fluttering down. The goal is you want to get your bait down suspended right above those fish. And you want to do it quick and you want to do it at the same time. You want a bait that's heavy enough. So if you're moving around an area, your bait's going to stay pretty well, you know, vertical under the boat. You don't want, you know, if you have a lighter weight and you're moving the boat, your bait's going to be swinging way out to the side and you're not going to be able to keep it above the fish that you're seeing on your, on your depth finders. Uh, the last thing is you want to, you want a hook that matches your bait well. Most of the time you're going to be throwing, you know, some sort of small plastic. And in this case, this is a one knot and this fits really well on this bait. You know, you don't want to go with a, a hook that's coming back here because that is going to kill the little bit of motion that you're getting out of the tail. So when it comes to the bait choice, you really want to do nothing bait. You don't necessarily want to bait with a, a boot tail on it. You don't want to grub. You want a straight tail minnow. This is a Berkeley Gulp minnow. This is my favorite for uh, the Demiki rig or scrubbing, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it the Demiki rig because that's kind of what most people know it as. Um, but you want something that's really a do-nothing bait. You know, the little bit of motion it has is just in the tail. 
uh, and it drives the fish crazy. If you have too much motion for this, they really don't eat it nearly as well. You want something that's pretty still in the water. I don't know if that's because they think it's a dying shad uh, or if it's just because this is a really good cold water tactic and too much motion coming out of that bait is kind of a, a deterrent to those fish. I can't tell you why. It's just kind of been proven over time that something with more of a straight tail uh, is kind of what you're after. And the Berkeley Gulp is a great bait for it. You know, the Domeki's got one. Pretty much most companies now have some sort of straight tail, little minnow imitator. Um, you know, this is just the pearl minnow, usually some sort of minnow colors. All you're after. Um, so that that's your bait choice. Pretty straightforward. Keep it pretty simple. So how do you fish it? Well, the key to this bait, it's a, it's a year-round bait, but it really dominates in winter or very early spring when the fish are kind of just starting to get out of some of those winter modes. Uh, you're talking normally deep water. Obviously, you're fishing under the boat, so 10 feet of water, you're not going to do nearly as well just because those fish know you're above them. For the most part, you know, you're talking... I'm going to say 17, 18 feet or deeper. Um, that's just kind of, kind of how it goes in this case. So once you've identified areas that you think those fish are wintering in uh, or are sitting in, you know, that's when this comes to life. You can get right over the top of them. You can see them on your graph. And the key to this bait is you drop it down. Don't let it hit the bottom. You want to keep it above those fish. You know, I like to I like to say a foot to two feet above them. If you drop it below those fish, it's not nearly as effective. They want it suspended above them. They will they will come up and eat that bait so much better than they will if you keep it below them or if you're beating it off the bottom like a normal jig. Again, I don't really know why that is. I just know through experience you want to keep it above the fish. Uh, I think for the most part, when you're dealing with suspended fish they're generally looking up for bait anyways and they'll just react better when that bait's above them so really what you're you're doing is you're looking for areas that those fish are wintering in or grouped up in and then this little bait is a good bait that will generate those strikes other baits just either you can't get down to them or they just don't don't generate strikes it's kind of that whole you know, I'm going to put the little piece of candy in front of somebody and they're going to eat it even if they're not hungry just because they want a little a little snack. So that's what you're after, guys. You know, once you've identified an area those fish are in, you know, for me, it kind of depends where you're at in the country. This is one of my favorite techniques for super cold water smallmouths. I'm, I'm really looking forward here uh, to getting out. We're going to be losing our ice here shortly and I'll be able to go get on some of those those small mouth as they're moving out of their wintering areas with this bait. So what I'll be looking for are deep water flat spots that they were wintering in. So, you know, whether that's a hump with a flat spot or a long point that breaks and then has a little flat spot, a little bit of rock mixed in, that's usually a really good holding uh, thing too. But it kind of just depends where you're at in the country. Um, you know, in some areas it's just deep holes in other areas, you know, it's kind of that broken up big chunk rock. Uh, so it, it depends where you're at in the country. But wherever those fish are coming out of their wintering patterns, it's a great technique. I will also use this during the summer months uh, or later into the fall. Anywhere I've got like a jigging, uh, a jigging spoon bite going on, Demiki rig really works well as well for that. If you've got fish that are schooled up eating deep shad, drop this down there and you'll catch a bunch of fish as well. So that's kind of really what it is, guys. It's pretty simple. The the Once you've identified where the fish are at, it catches them. The last key I'm gonna tell you, you don't want, so you wanna keep the bait suspended above those fish. You don't wanna do anything. That's the biggest misconception with this bait is once I get it down there, I wanna jig it around, make it move. Dead stick it, guys. Hold it there. Don't do anything. Just hold it there. Hold it down. You keep it in front of those fish for long enough, they'll come up and eat it. You just want to hold it there. The more action you impart in this bait, the less bites you're going to get. The more, you know, that you can keep it just steady, 
you know, yeah, obviously you're going to move it a little bit with boat movements and stuff, but you just want to keep it as steady as you can. Let the fish come up and eat it from that standpoint. You're not trying to draw them in. They're curious enough knowing that that bait's there. And if they're going to eat it, they're going to eat it like this. You know, those fish, again, in my opinion, one of the worst things you can do in fishing wintering fish or early spring fish, really cold water fish, is to overwork them with a bait that's, you know, got a ton of action in it. Those fish are, are lethargic and they're eating slow. And the longer you can keep this just suspended down there, the sooner they'll come up and eat it. Uh, if you're bouncing this all over the place, they're just going to sit down here looking at it. They're going to wait for it just to kind of sit there and be dead anyways before they expel a little bit of energy to go get it. So that's the Demiki rig scrubbing if you live up north. Um, give it a try, guys. There's still lots of places in the country where this, for the next month, you know, is going to be kind of the go-to bait for a while or one of those baits you can get a ton of good bites on. So go give it a try, guys. If you've got other questions, leave it in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and share this with your friends on other social media sources. Thanks for watching.